know, there's a lot of people getting boats for the first time, and you know, if you've never owned a boat, backing a boat, unloading a boat, and loading a boat can be kind of intimidating, but it's really simple. So we're just gonna walk through just some basic steps as far as how to, how to load and unload a, a fishing boat. And so basically the first thing you wanna do is you always wanna put the plug in in the transom. Most states have laws now where you can't have the plug in, especially if you're out of the water, if you're transporting or driving down the highway because of aquatic nuisance species where you need to drain and dry your boat out after you use it. The other thing you need to do is take off your back straps. The other thing that I do, you know, specifically if you're using a bunk style trailer is I unhook the front at the top. So I've got the front of the boat unhooked and you can wait till you get to the bottom of the ramp if you like. And so now the boat will float off the trailer. So if you have somebody back in, you can just sit in the boat and just drive it right off the trailer. And so I'm here with my son today. And so what I'm gonna do, which is really easy, is I've got a rope tied off on the front cleat. You can tie it off on the front cleat or the back cleat. And basically when I back down the ramp, I'm gonna have him hold onto the rope and so that boat will float off the trailer and then he'll hold onto the rope on the dock. You know, and the big thing too, as far as just learning how to back up a trailer, backing the boat down the ramp is, even if you have to, just go to an empty parking lot and learn how to back up. But the big thing I can't stress enough is when you're backing up a boat trailer, learn to use your side mirrors. That way you can see, you know, watch the fenders, watch your back tires on your trailer. And it makes it a lot easier where you're just less likely to hit something versus trying to use this mirror or looking over your shoulder, looking out the back of your vehicle. So learn to use your side mirrors. Practice in an empty parking lot if you have to. So with most boats, you're basically just trying to back up so that your fender just barely goes under the water. When your fender on the, on the trailer tires go under the water, typically your boat's gonna lift up off the trailer and float off the trailer. You don't have to back up that far. Now we're gonna show you how to load a boat. And if there's a mistake to make loading a boat, it's either backing the trailer too far in or not enough. And so typically we want the top front of the fender about an inch out of the water. Usually that's perfect for just driving the boat on and loading it. If you get too far in, your boat isn't gonna, is, isn't gonna slide into the trailer on the bunks right. And if you're not far enough in, you're gonna have a harder time winching your boat up on the trailer. Now that we've backed the boat trailer down, remember we want the front of those fenders about an inch out of the water. If the boat ramp is crooked, split the difference in the sense that if one side is three inches out of the water, make sure that the other side is under the water. Split the difference if the boat ramp is crooked. The other thing to consider is if you have waves coming into the boat ramp, you can have those fenders a little bit more out of the water and then let the wave push the boat up onto the trailer. But the big thing is if you're in too far, you're gonna have a really difficult time loading your boat. That's probably the number one mistake that we see with people trying to load their boats. Their trailer's way too far in the water. And so remember, keep the fenders just a little bit out of the water. And typically you can kind of feel your way, or you can just feel it slide up on the bunks. And basically all you have to do is hook up your front strap. Hook up your safety chain. Trim your motor up. And now you can pull your boat up the ramp. 